Probably my favorite article this week was uh, we're all just property. What it's like being a woman in a biker gang. And it's basically newsflash that biker gangs aren't progressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, really? Well, her whole thing is it's, it's like legitimately this article is sexism in biker gangs. All right. Also, I was just making me laugh. The idea of, you know, how you were saying earlier that uh, the guy who's uh, commented on his wife's like, honey, come home. Can you imagine you're a bi the head of the biker and your wife starts blogging about the sexism in the yeah, biker we're, gang? We're like literally a illegal gang. <laughs> Why are you? You're not supposed to talk about us, period. You'd definitely be. This, this girl's hearing about it from the. You do not want to come out. He's sitting there, a patched in member. Just what the fuck is this? Yeah. yeah. You're like, we. What's this? Like, I hear you're blogging? Narcotics. Why are you and blogging women. about us? And women. Yeah. As it stands, females aren't allowed to be official members of the gang. However, they still hold a place in the ecosystem of the institution as old ladies, the title given to the female companions or partners of gang members. So there's not enough women in criminal enterprises mm, is basically the issue here. It's a problem. Can women not break kneecaps? Hey, probably not as well, no. They have to walk steps behind your old man. You don't touch the patch. No speaking when he is speaking. Provide his food and drink. You'll be carrying the drugs and his gun. That is funny that they make you walk behind a little bit. Yeah. I, I didn't know if that's actually true, but... Maybe. I don't know. It's probably so the boys can chat. And the, but it's like you're walking behind, but with the other chicks. I know. So it's like it's not that bad. All the chicks are talking. All the guys are talking. That's fine. I mean, also the type of girl crazy. that becomes an old lady in a biker gang probably isn't uh, the same people that are protesting at Columbia. I, you know what? There are a couple <laughs> of them who are actually at this swingers event, I think. I think I saw a couple of them at the swingers event. They were, ooh. Yeah. Yeesh. There's a very obvious hierarchy at play within the Hells Angels. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. The killing is this like some blogger who's like, right? I'm gonna take down the Hells Angels. Watch this from the internal blog. though. This is a it's a, a girl that was an uh, old lady. I mean, it sounds like maybe a girl that the old she lady that got left. Maybe she got left. Maybe the guy left her. Yeah. Or, but is she out of the or she's out of the game kind of thing? Like the guy got killed or sent to jail. I don't know based on the article whether she used to be an old lady or she's mm. still an old lady. It has it does have a little bit of a tinge of she probably used to be an old yeah. lady. She was she's and she's mad that she doesn't get to be walking behind she's her been patched in member. She's been slighted, uh, but they but they're always on the back of the the motorcycle. So don't you touch the the patch then? I guess they get to touch the patch when they're on the back yeah, of the cycle. Touching the patch a big deal? <laughs> maybe they're not supposed to touch the front patch. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know anything about the world of the biker gangs, but I do know that there is probably some sexism and probably some racism. What's the racial? Oh, God. What's no. the racial makeup of the Hell's Angels? There's interesting. That's sort of an interesting uh, topic in general because they're sort of like the Mongols. Mm -hmm. Like they were sort of the like Latino biker gang, you know? Yeah. And there was kind of. Uh, there, there is some like different ethnic ethnicities that have their own biker gangs. Absolutely. I mean, there was like in Montreal right now. There's a crazy like gang wars going on in Montreal where like everybody's getting killed and stuff. Like Montreal's like really the it is the uh, the organized crime capital. Yeah. Yeah, but and I think it's close to America. It's close to New York too. So it's kind of like a border there and a big port. That's big the, port. The, the port is I think the big thing and like but that's like the, almost the last place where all like the mafia is still actually operating in North America. Like actual like mafia would probably do good there if they left. You know what I mean? If Quebec's always, you know, how Quebec's always saying oh, they're going to leave. Like, yeah. we are taking off. Uh, just kidding. We are still here. <laughs> oh, oh, I am going to leave. Uh, I was just yeah. joshing with you. Are we still part of Canada? <laughs> Actually, I changed my mind. I leave again. Oh, I am still here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there was like, I, there was a big biker where they're getting, you know, killed left and right. And then there was this whole thing because this black guy who somehow got in the mafia he was like part of some biker gang and like the whole deal was that it was weird because normally they wouldn't even let black guys in but they like made an exception for him because he was like such an exemplary gang member where they and that's like, recently this is very recently like in the last few months yeah interesting yeah yeah there's like dude there's constantly in quebec right now like guys getting shot up in parking lots like i know mobsters dude it's head of the hell's angels and the mafia yeah yeah it's still going strong there Surprisingly, you think it would be still going strong here, but it's not. It's like kind of over here. Like the mafia in New York. Is, is that like, true? Yeah, the mafia in New York, like they just dismantled them, and but they're still pretty active in, in uh, Quebec. Interesting. Yeah, like all the John Gotti, all that stuff, the families, like they're, they're done here. They're, you know, they, I mean, it might be legitimately like they've just moved on to legitimate business, similar to how the bootleggers and, you know, the 30s ended up becoming just, you know. Do they have French mafia names like uh, this is Putin? 
Uh, no, they're, no, they're all just like uh, he turns you into cheese and gravy. No, it's all like the Guido, like you know, all the they all just super Italian names and stuff. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, if you're big, they call you small. If you're small, they call you big. Uh, that's, that's the rules. <laughs> that's the rules. Rules are rules. <laughs> well. Yeah, they're essentially saying it's it's a mafia wife being like this mafia thing. They won't let women in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the wage the wage gap in the mafia. <laughs> I think you guys got it pretty good. Okay, you just have to keep your fucking pie holes shut and get a new fur coat here and there. I mean, the Hell's Angels guys probably have a lot of the guy coming home drunk and beating her, but. Yeah, I mean they're Hell's Angels. They're outlaw biker gang. <laughs> yeah, maybe don't. <laughs> they're literally outlaws. They that's, go. They operate outside of the law. Maybe the <laughs> that's the least <laughs> amount of uh, accountability I've ever seen a woman taken. <laughs> the, this actually might be the prize for least accountability sure. taken by a woman. Yeah, being yeah. like I I married uh, a, a criminal in the Hell's Angels, and I'm not. Being able to move up the ranks the way that I thought I would. I thought I was going to start at wife. I was going to move my way up to, you know. CEO. CEO. CEO of the Hells Angels. Hells Angels. But I'm not receiving my adequate compensation. Hey, that's how it goes.